Before we get started talking about e-commerce for WordPress, I want to go over some of the assumptions I'm making in this series. For example, I need you to understand that there are two versions of WordPress, and it's important to be clear about the differences. There's WordPress.com, that's the home page right there. This is a hosted version of the software. You can sign up immediately and get a free blog right from this screen. And then there's WordPress.org. This is the one that deals with the self-hosted version. That means you download the software and then you install it on your own server. Now we'll only be dealing with this self-hosted version, WordPress.org, in these videos. And that's because you can't use shopping carts on WordPress.com and you also can't sell anything that you haven't created yourself. And that makes e-commerce very limited on WordPress.com. However, when you install WordPress itself from WordPress.org onto your own server, you can do whatever you like as far as selling goes. Now, you also don't have to have a WordPress site at the moment in order to understand what's going on in the videos. However, you'll get that much more out of the videos if you have a basic understanding of WordPress. So if you don't already have a WordPress site, one of the things you can do is go back to WordPress.com and sign up and play around with a blog on WordPress.com. The basics of working with WordPress are the same on WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So you can play around with it on WordPress.com and get an understanding of what's going on. Now, I'm not going to talk about installing WordPress itself. It's very straightforward. In fact, many hosting companies offer one-button solutions. For example, here, one-click install. And here you can install open source scripts with just one click. It's very straightforward. Even if you want to do it yourself, it's quite easy. And there are lots of tutorials on that, either on the web or in books or in the basic WordPress video from Infinite Skills. However, because we will be dealing with a lot of plugins in this series, I will be doing some videos on choosing and installing WordPress plugins. Even if you know about that already, it's a good refresher. Now, I'm also assuming that you understand the basics of online payment systems. Whether you have a third-party payment processor, like PayPal, for example, or you've got your own internet merchant account, I'll only be going into the basics of integrating these with a particular WordPress plugin. Opening a PayPal account, for example, very straightforward. Again, it's free to do, and there's lots of information on how to do it on the web if you can't follow their instructions, which are pretty straightforward anyway. Now, as far as knowing HTML or style sheets, CSS or PHP, a programming language, you don't need to know any of these. Where they are needed or can be useful for something briefly, I will go through the basics for that particular situation, but that's fairly rare. Now, I do show some examples from time to time of how you can do your own custom versions of what we're doing with plugins. You don't always have to have a plugin to do things, but in those cases, you would need knowledge of HTML, CSS, PHP, and be comfortable taking that route, but it'll be very clear when I get to those. So those are some of the key assumptions that I'm making as we go into this training series.